So we have a special treat for you here. Stevik, who actually designed this guitar from 12 Foot Ninja, and you're the one who came up with all the ideas for this, and you're going to give us a little demo of what's happening, right? Well, I've been using uh, the Variax technology f pretty much since it was invented, mm -hmm. and I've been following it right along uh, its evolution, each stage, and I pretty much, um, 12 Foot Ninja is reliant on this technology. The whole band is, it's part of the DNA. Um, we do a lot of divergent genres that requires going from an acoustic to a heavier guitar or a sitar or all those kind of unusual uh, changes with tuning changes and things like that. And um, when Helix came out with Snapshots, that completely changed the game in how this can actually work together. So that's probably the evolution of how, how I kind of came into the picture and I was um, always hounding line six to um, consider this and consider that and you know what if this what if that you know because I use the stuff flat out you know I've toured the states four times with this gear um, played overseas play around Australia you know we've released uh, two EPs two albums it's been a nine year project so you get you get to know an instrument after that right. that time um, and this is exactly what I would want to play so it's uh, I'm so stoked with the uh, the vision coming to fruition and uh, here we are at NAM. At NAM, and let's hear some sounds. So uh, yeah, I want to maybe demonstrate some of the um, awesome stuff that you can do with this guitar. Obviously, people I imagine have heard people play guitar before, so I'm going to focus on what's different. Um, in this occasion, I'm choosing a song we have called Monsoon, and it has what's called an Indian tumbi, which is a pumpkin uh, thing with a bit of dowel and a peg in one string. And to replicate that, I turned five strings off and just had the E string. And I tuned the E string up, um, I think, to A. And I used a, a, like a banjo model, and that's enabled me to, to have this guitar. So if I hand the mic over, I can demonstrate. So as you can see, I can strum all the strings and you're only hearing the bottom string. It might be picking up some acoustic stuff, but through a uh, you know normal gig situation, that's all you hear. And then without any latency, I can go to a full-on metal kind of tuning and play the same riff. So you get Bollywood metal, which is like a, a new flavor that... Uh, that, you know, we could call it Bollywood Metal. I think that's a, an apt uh, title. Um, another kind of crazy thing you can do uh, is play one octave below D, which sounds like this. Now, usually to do that, you have to play a fence um, and get the rope that they use for those rope bridges and fashion it into an instrument because that pitch is extremely low. But you, I haven't adjusted the physical tuning on the guitar. It's all happening with the Line 6 technology, which isn't MIDI. It's some other kind of Jedi Knight uh, magic that I don't fully understand. So I'll play a little bit of that just so you can hear kind of uh, how it sounds. create some weird riffs that are, you know, um, only people from other planets um, generally play. But the cool thing is this is not about shredding people's faces off or being a, a insane virtuoso that spent 19,000 years in a cave practicing guitar to a metronome. It's a tool for creative people to compose new music and that's the whole kind of philosophy behind shuriken guitars. That's why I didn't call it the Steve McKay model. Um, it's called the shuriken, much like Batman is a symbol. You know what I mean? I yeah, see? <laughs> right on. Thank you, Stubbick. No awesome, man. We appreciate that tour.